This is the grade three math practice test for T and ready. This is question number 11 on this version of the test. It's uh, quite a long one, but here we go. Mr. Franklin's class collected books for the library. Students collected eight books on Monday. Students collected some more books on Tuesday. There's a mystery. By the end of these two days, they had collected a total of 14 books. Which pictograph shows the number of books the class collected each day? Now, before I dive into trying to figure out which pictograph I'm supposed to work with, I'm actually going to look to see what information I already have. So I'm going to make my own little figure. It's like the generic pictograph. So on Monday, I know that there are eight books. On Tuesday, I know that there are some number of books. I don't know how many yet. And then total books is equal to 14. So I need to think what total means I'm going to combine them together. So 8 and what equals 14. This is an addition question. And you can either count up, so 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and get 6, or you can do the opposite operation of 14 minus 8 is equal to 6. That's how many I have on Tuesday. I don't actually need this information right now, now that I have the Monday-Tuesday information, so I'll just leave it like that. So I'm ready to start matching things up. I noticed that pictographs have Monday and Tuesday on them. They have little icons that represent the number of books. Here's the problem. The key says that there are two books for every icon that are shown. So I need to make an adjustment up here for every two of these, so I can do division or I can just group them. If I have one, two, three, four icons, so I'm going to make four, and then I'll make the worst little rectangle ever to remind myself that this is books. Down here, three, same thing. So I'm just making an additional note to myself of what I need to be working with. So that's what I'm looking for. I'm going to look for something that meets the criteria that I have. So I scroll down. M is not looking great. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The reason that letter M exists where it does is because they're hoping that you will see, they hope that you get all this information correct, and then you don't look at the key and you pick M as your answer. That's it's called a distractor, but that's really what the testing service wants you to do. Now, why would they do that? Is it because they're heartless and mean? Mm, I don't know. Well, I mean, that's up to you to decide. But the reality is they will do this sort of thing all the time, so just be prepared for it. So you don't do all the hard work, and then you miss it because of some silliness. So let's look at one of the others. Let's scroll down here. Now, let me try to get that out of the way. I'm looking for 4 and 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, and Tuesday, 1, 2, 3. The key is the same. So my answer for this question is going to be the letter P. And again, it might be helpful to you as you transfer things over to your answer sheet to just write the letter as opposed to just, if, you can, if this is your answer sheet and you can do this, fine, but if this is your work booklet, it might be a good idea to write the letter under where you circle it as well, just so you don't make a mistake when you transfer it over. It happens all the time, and it's very annoying. Let's look at the others just to see. Monday is, uh, R is a giant mess. I don't know what's going on there. And then I think this one probably has... This one has 8, so this one has 14. So these are just, letter R just shows you the numbers that are in the problem. So if you immediately dove in and didn't adjust for anything, that's what you would get. And then finally, this uh, S is just the first choice, which is still wrong, upside down. So be careful about what the key says. We found out in this question that that was a huge issue about how we create our answer. I would suggest that you put a little chart together over here. It'll make your life easier because then you can see all the things you're looking for, match it up to your answer choice. 
choose your answer choice, and then make sure that you transfer it over appropriately to your answer form.